Hello, Vishnu. Then, sir. Uh, you got a chance to meet our DG in CC. Yes, sir. Today as, as a DC character. Yes, sir. Can you describe that in detail? Yes, sir. So actually, from our, our from my RDC starting camp, there were many struggles. And first of all, when uh, first of all I came as a BC from my unit level, the first thing they taught me was how to report to an interview person. And the most of the time they were focused initially on the current affairs topics, general knowledge topics, and also from the wing, the specialized subject. And also mo- most of the questions were up to your bio data. And day by day we were taught many of the things. and self introduction was one of the most common things where most of the officers asked it but at the end for me in dg interview self introduction was not asked either he directly went into my ambitions and after seeing my reports he started asking me questions and also from a bio data there there was mentioned that i had 2 years of firing experience and from that also he was surprised and he asked me a lots of question about firing so most of the questions from my unit level to the dgncc level will be asked from our bio data sir and also the general knowledge and current affairs topic might be asked for the dg interview and for sure they will be asking it in our in our selection level also sir how many officers were there for interview sir there were two officers one is the dgncc lieutenant general gurbet pal singh where we had a i to i i to i contact and there was a colonel sitting behind us judging our body position and also judging our the movements when we are speaking sir okay. then uh, did you explain in detail about based on your bio data they have asked questions yes sir so each and every questions they asked i explained it that to showcase my communication skills so the most important thing they expect is that we have to speak something it might be related or not may, might be related so it comes second the first they see is the communication skill how we have eye contact with the person who is sitting in front of us and the boldness the bravery how we say how we express each and every sentence the pronunciation of each and every words the clarity are the things where they seem go more important sir. then how many competitors are there Sir, at for the DG interview, from my JD JW Army category best carries, top five from all seven sixteen direct states were selected, and we had competition between us. A good competition was happening. Sir. Did he ask about your hobby or your special interest? Anything about? Sir, personally for me he didn't ask, sir. But for the other top five, the other top four, uh, most probably for. Two members where I interacted with them after their interview session is over. So he asked about the, their their hobbies, their interests, and briefly he asked them about it. Yeshu, can you explain the way you were seated and the way you were uh, reported? You were yes. Reporting in detail. Yes. Sir. Okay. So first, every BCs were given a information, and all 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 BCs from all seventeen directors were made to assemble the top five. Uh, who were chosen by the ADGs interview? So ADGs interview play a vital role in selecting the top five cadets for the DG interview, sir. And after getting selected for DG interview, we got a messages to the condition commanders and ANOs, and we reported on time. And there, as we go, we were seated in the category wise. That first SD armies, SD navy, SD air force were seated, and then continues the SW army. SW Navy, SW Air Force. Then we got the JD Oblique, JW Army, same Navy and for Air Force. Sir. So each one, once the five top five carries, then the SD Army category was called to the DGs annex, and the first will be going inside, and the rest will be waiting outside the interview. Sir. Once a person comes out of out from the DG interviews after completing his interview, another person will be waiting outside until the green light, which is on the top of the roof. Uh, while until the green light glows he will not be allowed inside sir. there will be a psf who who will be outside the door so he he will be one who will be intimating you to go, go inside and he will be the one who will be operating the doors so from our category uh, i the seating arrangements 
for 2024 was like at the directed wage alphabetical order so accordingly when from andhra pradesh was seated friend friend and west bengal was seated at the last so direct rates uh, alphabetical order wise the cadres were made to six then after coming this rdc do they conduct any extempore or group discussion or something like that so for our batch extempore or group discussion was not been conducted instead they were assessed in our personal interview sir which was conducted by adg alpha so since they were running out of time they were not able to conduct group discussions or extempore speeches this year so mm-hmm. well, did you attend this type of extempore and yes i have attended these type of extempore for my igc level competitions and also further for safe side we were also trained on both extempore and group discussion the method we follow the sequence we used to say but why at which stage extempore and group discussions were so group discussions we were able to do with sds so we as jdis can also compensate with the sds so we get more opportunities we get more benefits we get lots of chance to speak over here which is a good training we have took with sds then how much duration did you spend in camps so my rdc journey was started in the month of june so so from my group trainings it started day by day and in my selections run i was not much aware that what i should be preparing as a best cadet so day by day i approached my anu and from my starting that the 8th when i joined ncc my anu told me about the rdc career and what are the benefits we get and mainly we were concentrating on best cadet events as a jd going jd or jdf going for best cadet event would be the highest achievement since we have cultural best cadet are given more much importance and from that i have been starting from my selections when i started my preparations using the other anos guidelines who were appointed for the camp and from the first day going into current affairs watching some current affairs video going into more exploring more topics about geopolitics and also other kind of uh, things which is related to ncc and the indian armed forces and we were trained sleepless to win in the igc competitions and also win in the rdc competitions so there are lots of sacrifice we did for it and the training was very hard we also were ready to work hard so we are able to now in come to delhi so and how do you manage your school period studies so managing a school period studies like we have worked hard so we have learned many things from being as being as a best cadet like sleepless nights and many other things how to learn a procedure so basically till 8th i used to score a good uh, percentage and i feel that till my 8th grade i was not known how to learn and after the being as a dc so learning i learn many things that how to learn a question answer properly like example of writing it memorizing it continuous reading and i hope that these skills will be useful for me uh, subject studies so that i can gain some more marks and cope up with the other fellow beings for this purpose do you have any members uh, mentors do you have any mentors Yes, sir, there will be ANOs and other BS staffs who will be nominated for it, and they are the one who teaches us. And if we have any doubt, they are the one who clears us. So without their help, we could not be able to come to the RDC level. So they play a vital role in our preparations also. How many uh, events do you have passed? when you at last we reached to bc how many through how many events sir bc consists of firing so we have 150 marks for firing in delhi and comes the written exam where same we have 150 marks where 50 marks uh, lies for current affairs and general knowledge and rest of the 100 marks comprises of specialized subject and common subject then personal inter- personal and interview skills where we have it for 300 marks and then the dg interview where we will be going and 
the DG interview, the top five members will be getting who who is the person who is going to win the gold, silver, or bronze will be decided from the DG interview. Okay, then for acquiring knowledge, what uh, books, what sites do you follow? Sir, I used to mainly follow a Chrome website called GK Today, where each and every day will be updated, and also after each and every sessions, after each and every para we learn, there will be also quizzes conducted, so that it will be more easier for us to memorize it and also to understand the concept. The main aim of the GK Today is to make understand us the concept, so that we will not be able to forget it through our lifetime. And also, after coming as BC, I have joined a lots of WhatsApp groups where we get current affairs daily, and also we go through many current affairs videos. So instead of reading, watching videos, and going on through the complete topics, makes us more easy to learn the concepts. Okay, uh, can you tell us about uh, flag area? Where you are part of this flag area briefer? Sir, I was not a part of Flag Area Weaver since there was a requirement of a person who is well know, well speaking in both English and Hindi language. I was good in English but not much in Hindi, sir. So I was not qualified for Flag Area Briefing, sir. But we used to make uh, help of uh, making the Flag Area, sir. And Flag Area is one of the prestigious thing that mo mo most of the BCs will be briefing it. And it is the place where most of the higher officials, you meet them directly, you speak with them, you interact with them and also you brief to them. So that is one of the proud moments that three briefers get that you where other busy, where other things extra mark, are mark also, extra marks. Yes, so for extra marks we have a lot of things that when we are in a part of cultures, we get extra 30 marks and also in a firing. If our score were, is were, uh, above 125, we get 5 marks bonus and same goes with the written also. Yeah, in which of the events did you participate during this RDC? Sir, in cultural event I was part of ballet and NIAB and also in cultural events most uh, prefer, preference for MCs are given to BCs since they are able to memorize, they mm -hmm. have the capability of memorizing the script files and delivering it in a proper accent and proper pronunciation, sir. Okay. Okay, okay Jishu, thank you for giving us an uh, feedback, your uh, teacher cadets. Anyway, thank you. Once again, thank you, Jishu. Thank you, sir. Okay.